Do any of you look this unattractive when you're rowing? Elbows flaring back, head poking forward, looking like a bunch of chickens when you're doing your rows. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be. This week we're gonna talk about our row professions and see what you can do to properly align yourself <laughs> for all your rowing exercises. Stay tuned this week, we got our rows coming up. Chest supported row is our first progression in the horizontal rowing exercise because it teaches us how to place our chest in the right position for all rowing activities. So we make sure that we don't impinge the shoulder by driving those elbows back too far. It also teaches us how to lift our sternum up. And then here we're going to flex the shoulder blades and the lats together, driving the dumbbells into the thighs. Reach out, stretch the shoulder blades on the ribs, and then pull back. As Jack is doing this, he's not thinking necessarily about pulling the dumbbells to him. He's thinking about lifting his chest to the dumbbells. Again, getting the shoulder blades to glide along the rib cage. We're gonna pause and hold an isometric contraction at the top for about three seconds to really feel that position at the top before we stretch it out. First progression of the horizontal row. Now, once we've mastered the chest supported row, we can incorporate more body parts, and that's exactly what we're going to do with the cable row. We're going to plant the legs, engage the hips, engage the core, and again, same idea, working on flexing those shoulder blades down and back. You'll notice that with all these progressions, the palms are facing inward. This is going to be the easiest cue for you to learn to get those shoulder blades down and back, and it's also going to be the safest on the shoulder joints, so that's always where we start. Again, Jack is thinking about not pulling the cable to him, he's thinking about lifting his chest to the cable, creating all the movement through his thoracic spine, again, pausing at the top. We start with two handles and then progress to one handle where we incorporate a little bit more of the core, a little bit more of an anti-rotational component, just another way to engage the core, make the movement a little bit tougher, and the ability to focus on one side at a time. Don't be distracted. Don't be mad. <laughs> Now our last progression for the horizontal row, once we've got the idea of putting our shoulder blades in the right position and then engaging the core, we're then gonna incorporate the entire body. And the great way to do that is by doing something like a suspended row. The problem is no one ever gets themselves into a good posture position on a horizontal row from a suspension trainer. So what we're gonna do is make sure we got that great posture that we like to walk around with. Be confident. We're going to drive those shoulder blades back, again, pausing at the top with a three-second isometric hold, making sure that our ear, shoulder, hip, and knee are all in one straight line at the top, making sure our core is always engaged, making sure we're thinking about driving the shoulder blades down and back. Again, we want to think not about pulling the cable towards us, we want to think about lifting our sternum towards the cable attachment at the top. 